In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Well, good morning, everyone. Actually, I should say it's almost afternoon. Today's March 26th. And today is the day that every chicken mama dreads. It's muck out day. Their coop is quite used, quite smelly, and it's overdue for a cleaning. So that's what is on the schedule today. Are you guys ready for a clean house? Yeah, I know you are. All right, time to get to it. Whoa, not looking forward to this. goodness it stinks ah. so so far I've got two bags and I've got about a quarter of the coop done and out um, I'm baking it because I really can't get to my compost pile right now where I've put the, the poo in the past just due to snow levels so Begged it up, have it out here, and once the snow goes away, I'll be able to put it in my compost compost pile for my, hopefully, upcoming garden this spring, later this spring. So far though, it's going better than I expected. Not that this is any fun, uh, but we're doing it. And I know they're gonna greatly appreciate it. So, gotta get back to it. Another bag down. Let's see. One, two, three. And I'll show you. I'm just about at the halfway point, and the bedding isn't as thick on that half, so this should go really quick. All right, so here we go. We got half done, and that is all that's left. Um, the nice thing is, we've not finished this coop. Our plan is to put vinyl flooring down to help with this process. And this just goes to prove having a barrier, uh, a moisture barrier, specifically plastic or vinyl, makes cleanup pretty easy. We put uh, painter sheeting down and it's held up over the winter and I'm easily able to scoop it up and uh, get it out. So I'm glad we did that. And hopefully later this spring, uh, we can do another thorough cleanup, pull out the plastic, and put in vinyl on the floor. So far, so good. Okay, got to keep at it. We're almost done. All right, four and a half bags, and I am done. The coop is completely out of all their old bedding. I don't know if you can see, but Sophie is in the front door watching me. I don't know if you can see her little ears, but she always has to, oh, she just got down. She always has to have eyes on me. All right, let me show you what I did. And then once I get this half bag out, we are gonna spread with uh, wood chips. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, you can see the plastic sheeting we put down last year and uh, <sighs> For the most part, all the yucky bedding is out. Um, I'm pleased with that, that works. Now I'm gonna put down a mix of these wood chips and some wood pellets, just your normal stove pellets. 
that helps absorb the urine and the poop. Uh, chickens don't pee. Uh, it's all contained in their poop. So, yeah. And then my hope is we are um, soon, sooner rather than later, I am going to spruce up this coop, get it cleaned up. It's been a long winter. Lots of feed bags in here. Um, but get it cleaned up. I have curtains for the windows. I know we've got a case, finished casing them out, but this spring I really want to look at pretty nice in here. Right now, it's pretty messy. It's kind of one of those, we got it done and then we abandoned this project and moved on to others. So this spring, I'm gonna finish making this place look pretty. All right, time to spread some wood chips. Well, there we have it. This job I have been dreading is done. I think I got it done in under an hour. Not bad. Uh, now I get to go take a shower. I put off today's shower because I knew I was going to do this. And uh, that's why I'm looking kind of rough. As rough as the coop was. But job well done. I just got to get them some water. I see they're out of water. And then I'm jumping in the shower. All right. So that's what we do for spring muck out of the chicken coop. I think everyone is going to be super, super excited to have a clean place. It already 100% smells better. Um, I don't have the ammonia smell smell because we got it all out. Now we just have to wait for spring to get here, the snow to melt, so I can add all that bedding into the compost pile. All right. Time to finish up in here and go jump in the shower myself. Oh, what I'll do for you guys. Oh, it's snowing and dripping hard. Okay. So Gary and I are just our daily life sitting on the couch and um looked out the house has been making noises and the trees are really where we live we normally don't get winds like they do in town but today the winds are moving for there to be rain on this slider door which is 12 feet under cover gives you a good indication of what it's well, doing the crazy thing is it's, it's like 38 degrees 36 degrees, and it's snowing pretty good. So we've been enjoying probably well over a week, if not longer, of 40 degrees plus every day. And yesterday we got a warning, a winter weather advisory, that up from Talkeet in the north, they could expect 5 to 12 inches of snow today. Down here... I mean, like Gary just said, it's like 37 degrees and snowing and super windy. We normally don't get the winds like this ever. But uh, we're just sitting around watching TV, editing a couple videos. And uh, it's a Saturday afternoon. Not much more to do. The weather certainly is dictating we stay in. And so is Gary's knee. So, just thought we'd show you the uh, weather conditions and how old man winter is still trying to sneak his way with a few more, how do you say it? Weather punches. A few more punches before spring takes over. All right, back to editing. What do you think, Spirit? Hmm?
You don't even want to go outside, do you? No. No. She's like, I'm perfectly happy just right here. And Miss Sophie, you definitely don't want to go outside, do you? I tumble freeze off. <laughs> oh, Sophie, we love you. Yes, we do. Hello! Come out! Come out! Wherever you are! March, everyone. Uh, no, it's not March. Oh, gosh. It's April now. Let's redo that. No, keep it in there. That's perfect. <laughs> well, happy April, everyone. Right? Yeah. Yes, it's beautiful. For most of you, it's probably springtime. Your grass is getting green. Your flowers are popping up, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Well, we're not there yet. <laughs> no. We still got over a foot of snow on the ground. And uh, this morning was 20 some degrees. Had a little bit of snow yesterday. We're still, we're almost in breakup, but not quite. I? Mm. Well, uh, last week we're in breakup, then we refroze, and now <laughs> next week we'll be in breakup again. We are it's, above 40 again yeah, today. We're in that weird shoulder season uh, where it's just strange outside. So. This is the season that gets us in trouble for the summer. Do you know where I'm going with this? Yeah, well, this is the time when projects start building. And, yes. And actually, I know Stacy's got one on her mind right now that we're going to probably go take care of. You dream and scheme. Yeah, this and, is just a little thing that she wants to do right now. Well, yes. Yeah, so we have an RV area, and in the summer, we host RVers that come up through a program called Boondockers Welcome. Mm -hmm. And I want to spruce up that area a little bit kind of make it feel like a campground sure and i want to put a picnic table there and somebody has confidence that i could build said picnic well table. she wanted to go to lowe's and pick up a picnic table for like 150 bucks it's like well shoot we've got a whole bunch of lumber left over still it's two by six material so let's go pull some of that out of the shed and i'll coach her through on how to build a picnic table so then she can have more pride in it and we can do a little bit more, you know, customization to it and make it ours. <clears throat> well, it seems to me, if I remember right, right about now is when I built our brooder last year. Correct. Because again, Gary was under the, <laughs> under re, in a recovery mode. And <laughs> no, I, you were just about to oh, go Oh, just about into to go surgery. under into surgery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, so yeah, he's like, Stacy, you can do this. Yeah, absolutely. I'll so, help along. I guess I'm getting coerced into making a picnic table. Well, why wouldn't you? We have all the materials, we have all the tools, and, and the knowledge. Yeah, I mean, I thought 100 is actually 128 at Lowe's. <clears throat> I thought that was reasonable, but you do have a point. We only have to buy a couple bolts. 
Yeah, we have to buy, well, I want to get some shorter screws. I don't want three inch screws, are a little bit too long. I want to get two and a half inch screws so I don't have pokies on the end. Uh, yeah. And some bolts for, you know, bolting some parts together. Uh, and maybe some stain or paint. Um, that'll be down the road. Don't need, to, don't need to do that today. But, unless you want to. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> no, we've got today. all this free lumber still. we got all a bunch of lumber still. And it, it may not be the prettiest bright white lumber, but a little sanding and a little fixing up and it'll be beautiful. All right, so come along with us as we go to the hardware store to get what we need. And then I guess I'm building a picnic table. All right. was a quick trip to Ace. Ace is the place. Uh, in all, we just got some screws, some leg bolts, right? No. Okay. Got some deck screws and some carriage bolts, nuts and washers. In all, $57. How much it was? Yes. So we're already just a little under half of what I could pay at Lowe's. But if we've done our inventory correct, all the lumber we should already have on hand. Correct. I've got to dig it out of the shelter logic and... I probably actually do have construction adhesive at home. I probably do have enough deck screws at home. But I didn't check before it came out, so... And you can always use and that I, stuff. I can always use that stuff. We have projects continuing. So. We do. We have some big projects coming up this spring once right. he is mobile. Correct. So, not that I mean, the full expense of this isn't going to go into that table. Um, just a very small portion of it. Mostly the carriage bolts um, will go into it. And that, and that was probably the biggest expense of the uh, part. Not too bad. So, we're headed back home right now. And then I'm going to go out and pull out some lumber out of the shelter pocket. There is one stop I'm gonna make before we go home. What's that? I'm gonna stop at Napa Auto Parts. Mm. Oh. See if I can find myself a boot scooter. <laughs> Booty scooter. <laughs> he wants a, a chair on wheels for his workshop. Yep, a stool on wheels of some sort so I can kind of get around a little bit easier. I'm getting, I'm done. I, I, I don't, I'm done with being on the couch. I'm done with sitting down doing nothing. I need to be, moving around and doing something this is just driving me crazy so here's my chance give yourself a little scooter a little uh seated scooter and then i can start doing little projects here. yeah he's been on the couch for one month now so today's april 3rd uh he had a surgery on march 4th so we're basically Ooh, oh, getting hot down there we are one month in and he is antsy yes he doesn't know how to just sit so he's done pretty well but just can't wait. Two more weeks until he gets the release from the crutches. So hopefully. hopefully. Okay. Please cross your fingers for him on that one. Crossed. All right, headed to Napa. Napa didn't turn out so we ran into town and now we are at one of Gary's favorite stores AIH. Back home we had a store called uh, originally it was called Big R's and now the more the new name is called North 40 and it was like a farm supply and North 40 was a farm supply a lot like your tractor supply uh, stores that are all, all throughout the nation. This is close to that. It's a lot more industrial uh, than farm, but you can see we've got wheelbarrows and there's gardening supplies and such in there like that, but not quite as much on the farm supply line as tractor supply. It was like table saw. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of woodworking stuff and, and tools and all that kind of stuff here. Not much plumbing as I look at my branches. <laughs> anyway, tractor supply is a cool store. I wish we had one here. This is close. Strikeout! At least I got some exercise. 
Gotta go crutch in there and talk to some people. But they didn't have anything, they didn't have what we're looking for. I want a wheeled stool, something I can sit down in and, and push my, myself around the shop in. Um, they had some that are really like creeper style, really down low, mechanics kind of, kind of thing. But that's kind of too low. I want something I can rise up and, and work at the countertop at. So, picky picky. I'm trying to think. Is there anywhere else that. that, uh. we could go to? Well. I don't like the orange store or the blue store very much, but we had to end up going to one of them. Yeah, I just can't think of anything else. I mean, really. AutoZone has, they carry something, but not here. There's stuff stock in Seattle, but, you know, three weeks out, two weeks out. So. And they're probably, if they carry anything, that's probably like the creeper style, like yeah, you were just saying. Yeah. Darn it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go on my handy dandy orange app and see what I can find there. What about the one place we absolutely detest going? Can you guess what that That's is? That's another blue with yellow. <laughs> um, Wally store. World. Yeah, the, the online said they may have something. But again. Uh, see, that's what I want, but nope, not available. Hmm. The search continues. continues. what I was looking for but it'll get me by it'll get me on wheels um, I was hoping to get something a little bit taller so I can kind of actually work at a workbench but, uh, this will get me by so I can bark instructions at Stacy while she makes that <laughs> table our picnic table yeah that'll work and this is just another problem we have with the Alaska factor yeah there's tons of stuff that you know oh, that's great that'll be perfect but is it in stock no It'll take three weeks to get to you. A lot of things well, just won't come up here because they yeah, wait right. too much. There's quite a bit of that too. So, all right. We'll do we'll it. get this one. We'll do it. Okay. There's the picnic tables. Oh, yours is gonna be so much better than those. We will see. By the way, picnic tables what? Oh, they went up in price today, eleven dollars. So we're saving that much more money. They did yesterday. They were one hundred and twenty-eight. Today. <clears throat> they're 139 on the website. Yeah. So, and actually just seeing them, I think what we're going to do is going to be bigger. So, they, they look pretty yeah, small. They did look kind of small. <laughs> I didn't even look at the size of them. All right. Now, real quick, just because we can, it's time for lunch. Yeah. And sounds good. I want some sushi. How's that sound? All righty, we can do that. Um, I think I'm in the mood for that today. All right, sushi it is. <laughs> That's fancy. That's y'all. <laughs> Thank you, chef. Here's something I never thought I would say I'd be able to do on April 3rd. I'm trying to, here we go. April 3rd and I am on the roof. Um, yes, mom, I'm on the roof. I'm okay, I promise. But I just wanted to come up here and show you this amazing sunset. It's quite interesting because there's quite a cloud deck high up. But right here, just north of us, the sun is shining and there are no clouds. So straight across, and again, you can't see in the video, I'll turn it around, try to zoom in, but that is Mount Susitna or Sleeping Lady. And um, it is the closest mountains to our west. And it is absolutely gorgeous tonight. I. 
I just saw something really cool. I really need to turn the camera around. Stand by. Okay, now we are looking in the exact opposite direction. Oh, it's so far away, my camera's really not picking it up. But right over there, that is the Knick Glacier Valley. That is where Gary works when he's guiding. But it is an alpen glow right now. It is a beautiful pink. And uh, oh, look over here. Let's see if I can get the camera. It looks orange in the camera, but center frame, that is the mountains over in Aklutna Valley. And again, the alpen glow is the sun is above the cloud deck shining on those mountains. So pretty amazing. I can't believe I'm on my roof on April 3rd. So as you can see, the house roof is completely melted off. The uh, toy garage has a little bit of snow, but that's ex expected. It's on the north side. It doesn't get the full daylight sun. However, that's quickly, quickly changing. The um, south side of the toy garage, that is Gary's workshop, it's pretty much cleared off. And all here above the RV garage, it is all cleared off except that little patch right there. Again, that is the north west corner. So that should be off in a couple of days if the weather continues. But pretty gorgeous. I don't see Denali. Normally when I'm up here on the roof, I can see Denali right over here. The clouds aren't cooperating in that distance or in that direction. But Denali is right through there. But back, back, back and back out. Here we are above the homestead. There's the coop. Yes, I still have not taken the bags. Those bags, uh, I have to wait till the snow melts and then they'll go in the compost pile. But over here, this is uh, where our future, future garden site's gonna be. But as you know, in earlier today, we were talking about the picnic table I wanna make and I'm gonna show you where that's gonna go. Over here is our RV lot. And this is right here is where our guests park. And I want to build a picnic table to put right out here, along with a fire pit that we have. And so they have a nice little spot to sit outside and enjoy. So that is the big project. Uh, we got home from sushi a little late. We just wanted to relax. So we're gonna get back on that project tomorrow. But here I am, April 3rd, and I am on our roof at sunset. Pretty cool. All right, see you tomorrow. I lied, look at that. I was just coming back to get back onto the balcony and the sun just dropped below that cloud bank and it is blinding. It's so cool. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we post again. And lastly, we hope that you will join us here next time on Living Free Alaska.